there's been uh, apparently a tense interaction in the Capitol hallways with Congressman Tim Burchett, who is one of the eight Republicans who voted out Kevin McCarthy from the speakership and apparently had a bit of a dust up in the hallways himself with Kevin McCarthy. And I have Congressman Burchett with us here right now. So, Congressman, explain to us what happened with you and Kevin McCarthy. Well, I was doing an interview um, with um, Claudia from NPR, a, a lovely lady, and when she was asking me a question. And, and at that time, I uh, got elbowed in the back, and it kind of caught me off guard because it was a clean shot to the kidneys. And I turned back, and there was there was Kevin, and um, and I, I for a minute I was kind of what the heck just happened? And then I, um, you know, I, I chased after him. Of course, he's a as I've stated many times, he's a he's a bully with 17 million dollars in a security detail. You know, he's the type of guy that when you're a kid would throw a rock over the fence and run home and hide behind his mama's skirt. And you know, he just, you know, he. He, uh, from behind, that kind of stuff. It, you know, that's not the way we handle things in East Tennessee. We, we if we have a problem with somebody, I'm gonna look them in the eye and, and talk to him. Okay, so he walked down the hallway, hit you in his elbow with his elbow. Yeah, you, and you then, can you can go on Claudia's Twitter account. It, it, it pretty much um, or X account. It, right. it, it's it's very accurate. But, okay, so then just explain. So you chased him. What, what do you mean you chased? Well, him? I just ran after him. I was like, what the heck? You know, why'd you do that? You know, because it was a. Uh, like I said, it, if you've ever been hit in the kidneys, it's a little little different. You don't have to hit very hard to cause a little bit of pain, a lot of pain. And and so I, and he just, of course, um, as he always did, does, he just uh, denies it or uh, uh, blames somebody else or something, you know. And it was just a little heated, but I just backed off because there wasn't any, I saw no reason. I wasn't gaining anything from it. And then everybody saw it, so it didn't really matter. But he responded to you? Yeah, yeah, he just acted like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, who are you to, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just, you know, I think that's that's symptomatic of the problems that he, he's had in his short tenure as speaker. And were you face to face when you had this interaction? Yeah, yeah but there's security detail, and I get it. They had to, they were doing their job, so it wasn't exactly like he didn't he wouldn't turn around and face me. He. He kept scurrying, trying to keep people between me and him. And then, so, and did, where did he, were you yelling? You... I just let it go at that point. It wasn't. Were you yelling? Uh, he, he was, yeah, I raised my voice to him. I thought it was appropriate. You know, you just don't expect a guy who was at one time three steps away from the White House to sucker, su hit you with a sucker punch in the, in the in the hallway. And did he raise his voice back to you? Yeah, just that high-pitched kind of thing, I, I believe, and... That was about it. And did he walk into his office? How did this happen? No, he just kept on walking down the hall. I don't know where his office is now. Right. And, um, and you know, he had the, his detail and his posse, so to speak, was with him. So did his detail try to stop you? Do what? Did his detail try well, to stop you? The detail kind of got, they, they, one guy got, got between us there towards the end. But it, it, I, wasn't, I wasn't looking to knock him out or anything. I just wanted to let him know I, 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 I know it was him. Were you injured? I don't, I don't know, injured, man. I, Does it hurt? I mean, did it hurt? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, it still hurts because it was a shot to the kidneys. And mm -hmm. it, it still hurts, oddly enough. It's not, not anything I'm going to, I'm not going to, probably not going to do an ethics complaint on him. He's not worth it. You know, he's he's going to be gone here either after Christmas or next year. And like I said, you know, he's got the $17 million and he's going to keep, you know, he'll be, he's already messing in everybody's races and we all know that. Are you accusing him of assault? Am I accusing him? Of assault? I don't know. I've Ask a lawyer. It, it's over as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. He said to our colleague, Melina Zanona, that this was a tight hallway. He denies this interaction. He says a tight hallway, and I bumped into him. He says that this is not an intentional thing. There's 435 congressmen. I was one of eight that voted against him. That hallway was, uh, there's plenty of room. You can walk four, four side by side. He chose to do what he did. And, you know, it, it, it'll end right here, I'm sure. It'll just be a little little uh, asterisks on his storied career. And he said, he told me last week, you are only concerned about press and policy. That's why you voted him out. You're just concerned about the press. Yeah, and that's why he held an exclusive press conference with CNN. What do you mean? I mean, he, he doesn't think that you did it for any real reason other than to bolster your own profile. I've, I've gone through all the reasons. Uh, he just doesn't. He doesn't keep his word, and I think that's this is pretty much... Um, it shows what he did. It just shows what he did, and it just it's just the way it is with him. He's not, you know, he could have gone out on top, and he's chosen to go this route. And I, and I actually, I feel sorry for him. I pray for him every day. You might not believe that, 
but I do. I pray for him, and I um, I hope he finds some some happiness in his life. Yeah. All right. I'll let you go. I just want to talk to you as well. Thanks for you. thanks for your time. And as you can hear there, uh, uh, Fred, if you're still with me, um, um, if you're still with me. Um, so pretty remarkable, pretty remarkable scene there. The the congressman from uh, Tennessee, uh, one of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy, detailing something that you really don't see a physical alteration altercation in the mm -hmm. in the halls of the Capitol from the former Speaker of the House uh, hitting him and leaving him in some pain, saying he had hit in the kidney, uh, not going as far as accusing him of assault, but saying that he's still in pain and they were, they went and chased him down the hallway and tried to push back. But it is important to note that Kevin McCarthy is denying this, as I asked the congressman right there, just telling our colleague Melanie Zanona that uh, he, it was a tight hallway and they had an act, they accidentally bumped into each other. But it just shows you the level of anger that is still in the House GOP conference over the ouster of Kevin McCarthy. When I sat down with him last week, he made perfectly clear he is is still angry about it. He's still angry at people like Congressman Burchett. Does, he was surprised by Burchett's vote, said they only care about the press, only care about policy. They were they not care about policy. That's all they care about is themselves. But just a pretty uh, a remarkable moment here uh, in the Capitol with uh, the former speaker getting into a, a quite a, a physical altercation in, in the words of Congressman Burchett here uh, just moments ago. Right. I mean, the level of intensity, the level of emotion, and now it's physical. Wow, that was an incredible account. Uh, Manu Raju, thank you so much. All right, back to you, John and Kate. Where do we go from here? My goodness. We're going to talk, <laughs> we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Joining us now is CNN senior political analyst and anchor John Avalon and CNN political commentator and host of PBS News firing line um, is Margaret Hoover. Sorry, I'm tripping over all of it because we're just going to process this. Would you like to do a dramatic reading? Yeah, listen, so so what Manu was just describing there in the conversation with Tim Burchett, Burchett was this altercation that took place. It all began during an interview with an NPR reporter, Claudia Grisales, who just live tweeted the play-by-play yes. -play of what happened. And what she says is that McCarthy walked by and apparently elbowed Burchett. And now we're going to begin a dramatic reading of the play by play. A slight play dramatic here. reading because Burchett says go to her feed and she detailed yeah. all of it. It really begins with the kidney shot heard around the world and Burchett saying, I'm sorry, Burchett saying, where is it? Oh, there you go. Sorry. Hey, Kevin, why'd you elbow me in the back, Kevin? Hey, Kevin, you got any guts? Burchett then looked back at me and said, jerk. Referring to McCarthy, I asked if he had done that before. Burchett said no. That's when the chase ensued. Burchett took off after McCarthy and his detail. I chased behind them with my mic, Claudia says. And then she says Burchett yelled after catching up to catching up to McCarthy. Hey, Kevin, why'd you walk behind me and elbow me in the back? Kevin says, I didn't elbow you in the back. Burchett says, you got no guts, you did so. The reporter said it right here. What kind of chicken move is that? Burchett continued, you got no guts, you did so. Um, Burchett starts to walk away from Kevin uh -huh. and tells me, the reporter says, what a jerk, and then yells back, you need security, Kevin. Ugh. That's, uh, Burchett tells me that's the first point of communication with McCarthy since Burchett voted for his ouster last month. That's just it for communication since ouster vote. He's just a jerk. He's just a childish little ellipse. All right, that was the former Speaker of the House and a Republican member of Congress. Um, what do we make of that? Great job, everybody. Uh, it's so pathetic and petty and ridiculous. People sometimes compare Congress to high school. This isn't high school, this is junior high. There are elementary school students who are better behaved than this. Uh, it's just, it, it's absurd.